Hi guys, welcome to this front-end development code along. I'm Philip. I work as a freelance front-end developer with companies and agencies all around the world, helping them bring their designs into life. Uh, this is a tutorial on HTML, CSS, SCSS, and Bootstrap 4. We will be coding this science fiction chat interface. Pretty straightforward. We have a column here with our friends and another a little bigger column on to the right with the chat bubbles where we exchange messages. We're using Bootstrap 4 for this. And yeah, that's it. Let me show you a little animation here. So to begin creating this, we will start with the code from my previous video. If you haven't watched it, but you're interested to learn how to create this science fiction application, you can watch the other video. This is the interface we code in, in the other video. So after we wrote this code, we're going to take this and theme it actually style it to the science fiction interface like this one so let me close this one and begin here uh, basically we use all the code from the previous pen the link will be in the description so to begin changing this normal interface into a science fiction interface the first thing we want to do is change the font styling a little bit so we want to use a different typeface uh, kind of change the character of your designs. Every design has a unique typeface that goes along with it and explains what the design is all about. So here we, to begin with, we want to include Robo Roboto Slab. Actually, we want to include Roboto. It's a font offered by Google. So you just Google Roboto, World of Warcraft, uh, bookmark, gone now. So here, if you Google Roboto, you see Roboto font here for free in Google Fonts. We're going to select this font and import it into our CSS. So we can just copy this URL here, here. And now we can use Ro Roboto. We're going to write, because we are using SCSS, we're going to write a mixin. A mixin is a piece of code that can be included in any of our CSS blocks by writing include and the name of the mixin. So we can say like this, mixin, sci-fi font, and here we write font family, robo, roboto, sans serif. Sans serif uh, stands for font that don't uh, that doesn't have the little thingies at on their edges. So let me just show you, for example, this is a sans serif font, this is a sans serif font, this is a sans serif font, and this is not a sans serif font because it has this little thingy at the end of the letter S. So that's the difference between the two, two of the typefaces. So we've included this. Now let me write some uh, variables for the colors we're going to use in our in our science fiction interface. So we need a purple color, that's BA87FF. We need a sci-fi bluish color, that's ABFOF9. We need a background color here that's going to be black, I guess. So background, maybe it's not the best naming convention, but yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So for our science fiction interface, we don't want to use background here. So we're going to remove the background. We will remove this. And we're going to say that the a background color here for our interface to be the black color like this. Nice, okay. So I guess we're getting there a little step by step. So we have a, our mixin here that we are going to use. There are a few more mixins I want to create. In sci-fi it's common for things to, to have a glow like this uh, input field here and the whole container it has a little nice glow here. So we can create a mixin to include it. So let's just say mixin glow. And for that mixing glow, we're going to use uh, SVG, an SVG property, drop shadow. And our values here will be 00, 0 0.75 RAM and purple color. 
So if you don't know uh, what a drop shadow is, you can Google it a little bit. But basically this explains the offset of the drop shadow uh, to the right, to the bottom and the amount of blur it makes under it. So that's this here. And this is our common science fiction uh, purple glow. And we will make another glow of blue glow. Sci-fi blue, like that. So, okay, we have our two mixins. The next thing we want to do, we don't want this interface to be white anymore. So no white background. As you can see here, it's all black. So this white color here from our container, we're going to change that to background. And our, our interface becomes black. Everything else will be the same, except we are here including our blue glow and making uh, the thing beneath under our container have this glowish effect that's a trademark of sci-fi. So for our container class, that's it. Our profile image, that's this one and this one and this one, this one it stays the same as well. Uh, but the thing we want to change is setting tray. So this component here is a setting tray. We don't want it. We don't want its background to be uh, gray anymore. We want it to be black as well. So we'll just say background for our color here, color here, and it, it now it's like this. And for our icons here, we want their color to be changed to purple. So here they are. And on the hover, yeah, they can stay this bluish color. I like it. So we, we will not change that uh, here anymore. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so the next thing is a search box. We have it here. It has a background of a different shade of gray here that we're going to replace with uh, a blue, uh, black color as well. So it looks like this. That's it. Search box is the whole div, this outer div here. And we have another div that's like an input wrapper. In it, it has this input field and this icon. So for the input wrapper here, it has a background of inherit. So in, it inherits this background here into the input wrapper. Uh, that's why it's black right now. And for the color of this icon here, we're going to say that it's sci-fi blue. And yeah, that's it. Now we have to style this input field. So it looks like here. It has to uh, have a black background and a nice uh, purple placeholder. And the whole wrapper has to have a filter. So in the input wrapper here, we're going to filter of drop shadow. Excuse me. So include glow. And this is this is going to happen here. Yeah. And for our input here, we want it to have a background of background. Maybe it's a bad name for a variable here. Background we could have named it black or whatever, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So purple. And yeah, that's it. Now we want to change this typeface here from search here or uh, from this normal typeface. I'm not sure which one is it to Roboto. So we're going to say include sci-fi font and the typeface will change a bit. Yeah, that's it. Slightly better for what we need. So our friend drawers, here they are. We want the colors to be, be of course, dark. That's black color again and purple and blue. So it's what we are going to do here. This white is now background. Everything else stays the same uh, in this part, of course. So we use this friend drawer gray to style this part here on the top because this module here, it inherits all the stylings this uh, module has, but with some changes. 
so let's let's just stay here so we don't we don't rename the class but we should so let's just say here border bottom of one pixel solid purple and the padding bottom of 15 pixels yeah we just changed this part because it's in the same as css class wrapper but let's continue to change these i mean these will change as well because it's all in the same class so for the h6 we don't want we are used to have default bootstrap colors here but now we want a color purple to this h6 and we, we want to include a sci-fi sci-fi font as well so you see we have a color purple here for our h6 <laughs> for the paragraph we don't want this gray color it's we want a sci-fi blue so sci-fi blue I don't think it will change right now. Let me see. Yeah, it didn't change because these paragraphs have a class of text builder uh, we added here from Bootstrap. So I'm just going to go over here and delete uh, every instance of text muted. So we get our uh, purple color for the paragraphs that are like messages from our friends' drawers. Let's just see if it's going to happen. Oh, excuse me. It, it was this one. So text muted. Hey, you're arrested. Now should become purple. Yeah, that's perfect. So let's do the rest. We actually want to remove the text muter class from our span element that takes care of the time here to the right. So let's just get rid of all the text muted uh, instances that could be done quicker if we were using like a dead real code editor and not code pen but you know this is just just for fast learning so it's not really that important i guess text muted let's delete that text muted go away go away text muted go away So yeah, that's it. Everything is uh, purple, Is has that science fiction blue color that we want. A little bit of coffee for better coding. So let's get back here to our paragraphs. For the time, we want it to be purple as well. Yeah, that's it. So on hover, on hover we have this important, I'm not sure if we will need it here. Let me just try it without, yeah, it works. So on hover for our friend drawers here, we change all the text to white for both paragraphs and H6 tags and everything with the time class. Okay. Our horizontal line that we have here below each friend drawer right now has a color of a gray i think it's a default so we just want to change the border color of it to purple and to include a little glow for the for it it's it's very hard to see but it actually has a nice little glow here i think maybe it doesn't never mind so let's start doing our chat bubbles here it, it's these so for the chat bubble it's very simple we want to change the background as almost with everything else here to black we want to change the color to sci-fi blue and we want to change the border to one one pixel solid purple For these little pseudo selectors here that we have, we want to add a border border color of, actually here we already have that to purple as well. So it looks like this. And for the right chat bubble here, we want it to for the right chat bubble, what are we going to do? Chat bubble. 
For the right chat bubble here, we want to invert these colors. So here in the offset MD9 chat bubble, we want to say the background, we want to put the background to purple and the color to sci-fi blue. Yeah, it's not really pretty. I just say color is background, like our black color that we use here. Yeah, it's better, I guess. You just have to change the color of this little uh, pointer here to purple as well. So that's this one, purple. Okay, nice. Let's just style our last part here. That's the input field with a few more icons. Here we use Flexbox to align all of these elements. It's here in our chat box tray uh, wrapper. So, so for the chat box tray, we want again to change the background uh, to background and everything else here will be the sci-fi blue and include glow. We have a slight glow here. So yeah, basically that's it. We want to remove this border here. So we don't have a border. Let's just do it in our HTML because we're using bootstrap classes for the border right here. So yeah, it is, it's here. Our left column has a class of border, right? We can remove that and now we don't have a border here anymore. So yeah, that's it. This is a very simple science fiction chat user interface that we just themed from like a normal dominant aesthetic uh, theme to this science fiction theme it's just changing the colors we didn't touch the markup at all so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video learn something don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, see you in another video bye bye